I'd like to demonstrate some Morote Dori movements today. Uh, Morote Dori is a really interesting practice because from Morote Dori, you have both Aihanmi and Gyakohan relationships. So the Gyakohan relationship is like this. Right? Anything that you can do from Gyakohan, you can also do from Morote Dori. There's also the Aihan relationship. So if she just holds this hand, right, there's, there's that. Okay? So you can practice both at the same time. The idea with this is, give, it is to give your partner, give yourself the feeling that you're dealing with somebody, even if the person is not as strong as I am. Uh, she is holding in such a way, two arms against one, it's really good practice for me because I'm giving her an advantage of being able to hold with both hands, right? So it's a good exercise. And there's the Jodan approach, where you start from a low position and come up, right? Uh, and that can be done many ways. One way is where you start to rotate the hand and come up like that, right? Then from here, you can go low like this and then come up. That's also a Jodan variation. If you're a little earlier, as your partner comes in and you come up first, then you can swing down and that's Jodan. I look at Jodan and Jodan in terms of where it is that you break the balance. So if you break the balance at the lower level, even though you started up high, then that's Jodan. If you break the balance when you swing up, then that's Jodan. So if I'm here and breaking the balance downward, Jodan. If I'm low and I break the balance upward, then that's Jodan. And this uh, method of going low, you can turn your arm into a rope, almost as if to put your hand right on your kneecap and then try to keep that rope-like feeling as you move your hips. And then you can step in for whatever technique you're going to do. So that explains a little bit about Gaidan and Jodan uh, openings from Murote Dori.